Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Evil Within. Last time we left off, we were on chapter 10, and uh, we're about to fight a new enemy. Oh, ho! Oh. And that was really stupid. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, restart that. Because we're going to need all of the trap bolts uh, that we actually can get our grubby little mittens on. Because some of these enemies coming up, they're, uh, they're sponges. Sponges for ammo. And we do have... Uh, this You know, this is actually quite a bit of a boss rush kind of level, I think. Because there's one big nasty that we got to fight at the end of this chapter. If I remember correctly. And... Um, we have to fight Laura again as well. I remember that. But... I, I think there's actually... A sneaky little way that we can do the Laura boss fight pretty quickly or something. I know there's almost like a skip for it, but I can't really remember it. Hello? Ah! Oh, great. Hello, buddy. Hello. Chase me. Chase the heavily hungover dude. Oh god, hello, there's you as well. Well no time for tears. Alright. We're good. We're good. That could have been worse, to be honest with you. That could have been way worse. Um okay. Right, okay, well, they're not the worst thing that we're going to have to deal with. So let's keep going. Oh, hello. That's interesting. Another one of you to fight. Well, okay, that's fine. We'll continue to take your face apart. A little bit like that. Definitely a little bit shaky today. Oh, yeah, pub last night kind of got a little bit out of hand, but that's generally how it happens. All right, you monster. Let's get this done. Yeah, this guy, this guy's pretty burly. I actually think we have to fight quite a few of these guys memory serves. Now, I don't know how many... Well, that's four. Four and he's still going. Alright. That's unfortunate. Now, this guy will wreck your face really quickly. If you allow him to get that close to you. Now, we can actually um, pull that lever, which will kind of block him off. Sort of. We do that. Because he he's not supposed to be able to come through here. But he can actually glitch through there. Which is not great, to be honest. There we go. No, he's still not. No, he's dead. Okay. This is good. <laughs> this is very good. We're not going to replace all of our equipment because, uh, or all of our bolts, just in case we find some. Um, you know. So that actually extends that one, which blocks him off. We can actually still get past it, and we can still get through that one. But, like, <sighs> he can't, but he can. Um, I have had him before because he has this charge attack and uh, he can charge attack through these spikes. I don't think he's actually supposed to be able to do that, but he does. And when that happens, you're going to have a bad time. But that's fine. Let's go scoop up his goop. 
Mmm, monster liquid. Monster liquid. Yes, we like a bit of monster liquid around here. Right. Definitely want to get in behind this thing. Because we have a key. Ah. Well, that's a problem. Apparently, when you're crouched down like this, you can't extend your gun. Ah. Uh, I don't... I, I don't know why that seems really silly, but hey, I didn't make the game. I guess. Oh, we need to stand up. That's what it is. We actually need to stand up to aim. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Why not? We can't do any kind of attack whilst we're crouched, apparently. All right. That's fine. Now. Luckily, this thing can't actually hurt us from the other side. So, that's also nice. Run! Okay. Whew. Bit of a panic, wasn't it? Um, nice. Let's keep going. Any goodies for me? Ooh, we're getting some hellish jut hellish juddering. Now I don't, yeah, I don't think these guys retract, pretty sure they don't. Oh, that juddering's making me feel a bit ill actually, I don't know why. Alright, well, whatever, let's keep going. I don't know if it's juddering on the uh, capture, or if it's just juddering on my monitor. That's that's not oh that it's only in certain places as well that's the annoying thing yeah that's really weird so what have we got here oh next I think that's an explosive bolt and some bullets yeah according to the steam overlay uh, we're getting like 144 frames it just feels like 16 Still better than the console experience, I suppose. Which is 10 if you're lucky. With massive black bars. Actually, on the consoles, they, they um, updated it, didn't they? So you could get rid of the black bars. I remember that. Okay. And we can't look down, either. We can look up, but we can't look down. Now, you would have thought... Um, Sebastian would be able to look down there whereas it would be a lot harder for him to crane his neck upwards but hey look this is evil within yeah there we go map fragment 19 I don't know where we are on the map fragments I don't know if that's like all of them so far or if we've missed one Now this bit, oh boy, this bit, this bit is a little bit naughty, and by little bit naughty, I mean pretty bloody difficult actually, because those big guys, them, there's two of them here, which is very naughty, but that's alright. That's okay. We shall deal with them. Hopefully. Oof. Okay. We're going to deal with them the only way we know how. Uh, explosive bolts. Now, I'm pretty sure if you shoot these guys in the back, it does more damage. Uh, or maybe when, like, the parasite is exposed. It does more damage, something like that. Not 100% sure. Right, so before we do anything, keep those bolts coming. Yep, there's his mate. This is going to be very expensive. But alas, this is what we have all of these things for. Right. Ooh. 
That hurt. That really hurt. Yep. This might be about to go badly. Yep. This is going badly. Yeah, so fighting both of these guys, oh, it's going to be rough. Um, and the main reason it's rough is because we, we've got plenty of equipment, I suppose. Oh, there's a health thing there. Just because we can keep spawn, spawning like ridiculous amounts of these things. Um, we just don't have, we don't have a lot of um, maneuvering potential here. Ah, we've got to kill that dickhead again. That's fine. See, if it was just one of them, we could handle him pretty easily. But the fact that we've got two to deal with... Oh, that was not great either. Run! You did not run quick enough, Sebastian. You did not run anywhere near quick enough. Yep, this is about to be very uncomfortable, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, I thought we could slightly um, outrun that explosive there. Oh man, this is, yeah, this is really going to be something. Okay. It's annoying that we've got to deal with that one enemy like every time as well. I mean, is it even worth healthing up? Probably, I guess. Uh, hmm. Just trying to think because what we've got coming up and what we've got to use. Um. He's going to be a dick, isn't he? Yep. Yep. He's being a dick. Right. So let's lock both of those guys in place. Now, let's just produce these. Come on. Nice. Got him as well. Right. Not sure where that landed. Come on. Oh, Sebastian. Ah, oh, Sebastian, you're so, so fucking slow. All right. Now, personally, if I was being chased by these things, I would move with a little bit more purpose. Right, there's one down. Right, that should have been like a double hit, I think. That's fine. Come on, big boy. That's it. There we go. He's done. Woo! Okay. All right. All things considered. All things considered, that could have gone worse. Could have gone better too, you know. Um, but that was that was fine. Some uh, harpoons, which we're not going to say no to. I like the way it literally gives us bloody uh, handgun bullets here. Like, what are we going to do with handgun bullets, son? Seriously, think about it for a minute. You got two of those monstrous motherfuckers chasing you, and it gives you bloody handgun bullets. Oof, 
we really did batter our stocks of um, ammo as well. A little bit unfortunate that we had to um, sacrifice so much of that, but you know, there's no point leaving it for the roaches. Oh, that's a welcome little addition to the supply. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. My poor space bar. Jesus Christ. It's, um, I don't know, you, that's not even a quick time event, is it? But, like, button prompts like that are just so silly. Uh, we'll have the green gel. We'll have that. What else have we got here? Why is my collectible sense tingling? Um, mm, oh no, 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 I think we're okay. Are we? No, I don't think there's any collectibles. Right, so even though my tablet is muted, it's still playing notifications. That's cool. Oof. Right, let's get the frick out of here. This place is literally like something ripped straight out of Silent Hill. I kind of... I don't hate it. Hello. Pretty sure we'll be seeing him a little bit later. Yeah, I don't dislike the the theme um, it you know it kind of feels a little bit generic but um, yeah it's all right and I don't know if that was Laura going up there what about you Sab are you having a good time yes you are having a wonderful time aren't you Sab uh, nope he's not gonna wake up need to be very careful here with our equipment um, everything I have, everything I am, has been taken from me since the accident by those who seek to consume me. They are in the darkness, with only the phantoms of my mind to comfort me, to taunt me. I nearly lost myself completely. But then I saw her. Deep down I know she was only an apparition. But I would regain my face, recover what was taken from me, restore her, my beloved sister, Laura. Yep. Yep, he's really tormented by that, isn't he? Having his sister burned to death and him surviving. You know, I guess that, that would affect all of us, to be fair. Um, right, ooh, save room. Thought I could hear that. Let's go... Let's go grab L save. Oh, save room. I've watched friends and colleagues die before. Part of the job that I've taken. And it's never easy. But nothing can compare to losing your own child. I'll die a million times over to prevent it, but I can't. I felt so hopeless when they lowered that tiny coffin into the ground. The pain is unbearable. I know I shouldn't, but... Drinking is the only thing that lets me sleep for the last few weeks. I'm worried about Myra. This has been extremely hard on her, and her way of handling it has been unnerving. She wants to be alone. She has taken to staying up all night. Says she's doing work to keep her mind off the tragedy. But, it seems to be, but she seems to be closing herself off from the world. I know what tends to happen when couples lose a child. And I hope that we're strong enough to avoid it. Well, unfortunately, Sab. Um, 
Right, can you shut up, tablet? Thank you. Yeah. Just notice actually how good the character models look actually. Bloody hell. I mean the animation is obviously aged and stiff, but yeah. Character models are great. Then that the enemies in general look fantastic uh in this Have game. You forgotten something? Ah uh, well, I think so, nurse. Home destroyed by fire. Home destroyed by fire. Daughter of police officer among the victims. The bodies of Lily Castellanos, five, and babysitter. Oh, yeah, the babysitter as well. 56 were found in the child home. Both of the child's parents are police officers with the Crimson City Police Department. And were on duty at the time of the fire. Police are investigating as possible arson. Hmm. Hopefully it wasn't, uh, you know, it didn't involve some big corporation or anything. Oh, look at that. The poppy field. Or like, what poppy field is it? Sunflowers. Missing Patrick Higgins, lawyer for the Vict Victoriano family. Last seen meeting with a man believed to be a client. All right. Hmm. You know, the more I play this game, the more I, I appreciate what it was trying to do. Um, it just... It's just the control, really. The way the game feels to control. That's, like, its biggest thing. I mean, the story's complete, you know, mental bonkers batshit as well. Oh, I forgot there's a way to get out there as well. Completely bonkers. Um, but that's fine, you know. All of these games are a little bit twisted and weird. It's the nature of the beast, really. Um, so we've got two keys. I mean, I... Uh, great. I do... I would rather have, like, a cohesive story that makes sense. Um, and this game... I suppose the story in this game does make sense. Uh, in a way, you've just got to like play it loads and loads, play all the DLC, and then maybe do a little bit of digging. Which I'm not a huge fan of doing that in games. I prefer the actual game to just, you know, be a, a story that you can understand from beginning to end. Um, yeah, quite cryptic in a lot of places. And I don't like a game either where you have got to play the DLC to understand. That just feels to me like you know, they're selling you an incomplete experience. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind if the DLC is like an extra bit of sauce on top of the burger, but it shouldn't be like, you know, an important piece of the puzzle. Right, anyway. That's that. See, we're on 24 minutes. I don't know, I might leave this one as a short video here, guys, because we've got some shit to get through now. Um, hmm... Hmm. Um. Alright. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, from what I remember of this bit, it kind of goes on. A little bit. But, you know, let, let, let's keep going, I suppose. Why not? So, Laura is back. Because, of course, she is. And she is a tough cookie. Hopefully, she's going to leave us alone for now. So, we can go down here. I th I'm wondering now, actually. I can't remember if you can actually kill her there. Because this game has some interesting little bits like that. If I remember correctly. Yeah, we we got to go down. Right. 
This is going to get a little bit dicey, isn't it? Ah, right, I remember. Yeah, because we've got to throw this switch. And I think that lets her out. Hey. Right. Hello, Laura. Nope, she just climbs out. Because she's like that. Now, Laura, let, let's talk about this. Doesn't have to get nasty. Alright. We don't have to be enemies here. You can go your own little way. And I can go mine. Well, I'm very grateful for whoever moved all that stuff out of the way. Run. Oh, we're back in the... Yep, Laura is still chasing us. Oh, hello. Whew. Well, that was a thing. So, what's left? I actually thought we had to fight her then. I think that's a little bit further on, maybe. Okay. Ooh, typewriter. Wonder if the T virus is leaking out all the steam. Hmm. Kinda wish it was a T virus to be fair. This game never really got anywhere near the heights of Resident Evil. I think maybe it could have done if they, um, you know, spent a bit more time on it. Um. Okay. Right. From what I remember, this is where things get a little bit delicate. Yep, the game is forcing me to look at the firewall. Yeah, I'm sure there's like a quick, easy way out of this. Checkpoint. Right, if we've hit a checkpoint, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Um, yeah, probably a good idea because this bit does go on. Um, this bit might get a little bit dicey as well. So we're going we're gonna to leave this one here, guys. And when we come back... Um, I think we're going to run through this gauntlet. From what I can remember, this can be a little bit rough, but we'll see what we can do. So thanks so much, guys, and as always, till next time.